Hello and welcome to Thomas Geiger car. Today with the new Skoda Enyaq Coupe. Yes, you got me right, Coupe. Just one year after launching the standard Enyaq, Skoda is bringing its second battery electric vehicle and joining the beautiful side of the electric avenue with a nice SUV Coupe. If you want to know what to expect from that vehicle that will conquer the market later that spring, join me in my first walk around and I'll tell you more about it. Well, the standard Enyaq is a pretty bold car with a big volume and a high roof line. The coupe is very elegant, a little slimmer, a little bit more sporty, especially if it comes in mamba green. It's also sticking out of the traffic. It's identically until the B pillar and from there it goes down in a very nice line and has a very crisp end towards the rear. But it does not only look better than the standard Enyaq, it also is more efficient. It has a lower drag coefficient and that means more range for an electric vehicle. So you gain about 35 kilometers just due to the nice shape. Good to look at, good to drive in. As always, the upsides come with a few downsides. Yes, you have the more beautiful shape, you have the better efficiency and the bigger range, but you're losing a bit of trunk space. Not too much, still an impressive 570 liters compared to 585 liters of the standard Enyaq, but you have to lift your luggage a little bit higher over that sill and to enter it in here. So not only the car looks sportier, you better exercise as well to make use of the space you have. The shape of the coupe is definitely different than the standard Enyaq, but the technology underneath is the same. Just that the coupe starts at the topper end and gets more power than the standard Enyaq, at least for the beginning. We're having the first electric RS model here with 220 kilowatts of power and with a top speed of 180 compared to 160 kilometers per hour in the standard Enyaq. But you don't have to go that far. You can get the vehicle with 132 kilowatts as well and two steps in between. You have also the choice between two battery packs, 60 kilowatt hours, 80 kilowatt hours, giving you a range from up to 545 kilometers. That's 35 kilometers more than you can obtain with the standard Enyaq due to the drag coefficient. Sitting in the back of the Skoda Enya Coupe is an interesting experience. As always with electric vehicles built on a dedicated EV platform, legroom is not an issue at all. Wheelbase is very big, so I have enough room to sit behind a tall guy even in the back seat. The issue is more the head clearance. From the outside, the coupe looks pretty uncomfortable because we have that fast falling roof line. But once you're in the car, you're pretty surprised. There is still one hand above my head. I'm almost 1 meter 90 tall and I can still place my, head, my hand over my head and doesn't, don't reach the roof. That's mainly due to the low seating position, to the long roof and to the standard panoramic roof that they have installed. That gives you a few centimeters more headroom and it gives you the better view. You don't feel as cramped as you might feel underneath a tin roof. Well, the experience on the back seat of the Enya Coupe is at least a little different from the standard model. For the driver, the cars feel pretty much the same, at least until you look into the details. Since the Enya is on the road for a year now, the engineers have made some improvements and the Coupe is the first car to benefit from that. That's mainly for the infotainment system. We have a new operating software, next generation, generation three, with lots of small but crucial improvements and benefits, mainly when it comes to navigation. For the first time ever, we can navigate with multi-stops. We can choose and prioritize our favorite charging stops and the car builds a route along the chargers up to your liking. And talking about charging, that has been improved as well. While you needed 36 minutes to go from 10 to 80% in the past, now it's just 29 minutes due to higher charging power and smarter charging software. And the good thing is, every Enyaq user can benefit from that. Since the car is updatable and upgradable, the software will be employed to all the vehicles and everybody gets along faster. Thanks for joining me on that first walk around the new Skoda Enyaq Coupe. 
a car that is really an interesting addition to the growing lineup of battery electric vehicles at Skoda and in the Volkswagen Group. Because this car proves that electric vehicles are not only good for the environment, for your soul and for your heart, no, they're also good for your eyes because this car proves electric vehicles can be really beautiful. Yes, you have to pay a little price for that. And I'm not talking about the smaller trunk space or the feeling of less headroom, which in fact isn't even the case. No, you have just to pay a little bit more money for the vehicle. In Germany, the price premium is almost 10%. You get much more content for that and you get the more beautiful car. And most of all, you get more range. So well worth the interest and the invest.